Hi everyone, my name is Max and I'm working in the product team at Zenfi. Today I'm going to show you how you can automate the process of approving a reimbursement form that is submitted by an employee in your organization. So I've already created this entire flow and in this video I'll be going through all of the needed steps. So as you can see here, I have the form and I'm asking the, some of the mandatory questions such as their name, their email, the, the receipts, and I'm asking them to also uh, attach the receipts with the tow tool and what category this reimbursement would fall into. Uh, it can be a meal, transportation, ent entertainment, and so on. Going back to Zenfee, uh, in this flow, which I've called it the re uh, expense reimbursement form, I've made it set to be a uh, kick off and run on a trigger based, uh, based on when a Google form is submitted, which is this form which I showed you before. And you can see all of the values from that form is passed to us and made available to use in Zenfee. So the first thing that I did is dragged an assigned task action where I assigned this task to the finance team and there's two outcomes to approve or reject. The finances uh, email I should have put here but I just put my own email for the testing purposes and then the subject and the body. So there's the subject, as you can see, is there's a new reimbursement form and the, your name, which is the name from, that, uh, from the Zenfee reimbursement form. And in the body, I'm, asked, I'm telling this, uh, the finance team of the details as well as I'm actually attaching that receipt which is passed from that form. However, what we can actually do if we want is we can get the manager's information so we can get, first we have to connect it to the directory and make sure that this user has the correct permissions. And then from here, we have to maybe pass in the, the email of the person who's submitting the form and get the manager's information. And what we will do then is assign this task to that manager. However, I'm going to remove it for the purpose of this video. And then following this assigned task, I have an if condition. And this if condition has one clause, which is it gets the outcome of the previous assigned task. If it is approved, it's going to run the true branch. And what the true branch does, it sends an email to the person who submitted the form, which is me now. And we're saying the reimbursement is approved. And we're saying, hi, congratulations, your reimbursement with the value has been approved. And then likewise, in the false branch, we're saying a similar message, however, to inform them that the reimbursement was rejected. So what we can do is we can actually run this uh, flow now by submitting a reimbursement form. So I'm going to say my name, my email, at uh, let's say the receipt date was the 1st of October, the category let's say is meals, uh, the receipt total let's say $85, and then the receipt attachment, and I've already got to example receipt. Uh, so I'm going to attach this receipt, upload it, and then submit this uh, form. So what we can do now, we can go back to Zenfi, and we can go to recent runs. Um, I'm saying I have unsaved changes, which is fine. And we should be able to see that an instance of this form is executing, as you can see here. Uh, sorry, an instance of this flow is executing. And now you can see it's at the assigned task step. So if I go to my email, I can see a new emails come through with all of the details from that uh, form. And there's two buttons and we can see also the attachment is passed through as well. So we can let's say, let's approve this. And then we can go back to here and refresh th this run. And we can see now it's gone to the if condition and uh, we, we approve it so we'll be going through the true branch and it's sending an email again to me with the outcome saying the reimbursement approved so hopefully i've explained to you how easy it is to automate the the process of the expense reimbursement if you have any questions please do not hesitate to reach out and if you have any feature requests please don't forget to add them to our user voice thank you and take care